All right, hey guys, this is Renee Fouché here, and I um, I just read a story that really disturbed me, and I needed to shoot a video about it because um, it seems that people don't realize people don't realize the blessings that have been put before them. All right, and I'm gonna kind of see. Um, I just read a story about, um, if you're not familiar with the West Coast DJ, DJ Quick, his daughter has actually been arrested with charges of first degree murder of her two year old son. That's not looking. Of her two year old son. Now, I'm a mother, right? And I understand that sometimes you can become frustrated with your children. I understand that, right? And now let me just clarify the story before I go too deep into this conversation. Um, the story reads, and you can see the quotes. If you're watching this on YouTube, there should be a link to the blog below this. If you're watching on my blog, obviously you can see um, the quotes and the information that I have thus far, um, which is that her boyfriend, I guess it was, she and the boyfriend were supposedly arguing. And of course, this is hearsay. I was not there with them. I'm just giving the story as I've received it. Um, that they had been arguing earlier on in the day. So, of course, now you have two stressed out parents. I haven't even figured out if this is really the boy parent. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, it's her boyfriend. Right? So you got two stressed out adults. And when the child wakes up, they realize that the child had peed the bed overnight. It's a two-year-old. Right? There's some grown friggin' adults that still pee in their bed. And the boyfriend decided that it was his job to discipline him. And clearly the mother did not intervene for fear of making him more upset. I don't know. Maybe he's her father too. I have no idea. I don't even understand this right now. But he beat the child to the point where people could hear it next door. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So then you leave and go to work and leave this child in the care of said madman that just beat the shit out of your child because he peed his bed. And by the time she came home, her son was, was lethargic and could barely move, right? Because apparently he soiled his pants again and also messed up the bathroom. Remember that we are speaking about a two-year-old, right? What I want to understand is what grown adults that don't make their own set of mistakes think that the correct discipline is to beat the shit out of a two-year-old that makes a mistake. I'm seeing kids cussing you and doing all kind of nonsense. And, you know, oftentimes you might hear me say, you know, they might need a cup in your mouth. And you might leave a bad comment below because I said that. Right? I don't cuff my children in their mouth. Guess why? Because, you know, I've raised them to not do things that require getting cuffed in their mouth. But that is neither here nor there. At two years old, the child is still learning how to control their bladder and whatever other organs are utilized in the process of trying to control their urges to go to the bathroom. 
as grown-ups. Tell me, truth now. How many of y'all are in your sleep from time to time? I'm not saying you pee in your bed every night. It could be once every 10 years. And you have a dream. And in your dream, you really need to go pee. And in your dream, you go to the bathroom. And you start to pee. And all of a sudden, oh, I'm not in the bathroom. I'm really sleeping. I'm dreaming this bathroom and I'm in my bed. All right? So if that can happen to big, grown people, who are you to beat the shit out of a child two years old to death? You're going to beat the child to death? I am neither judge nor jury. I leave the jailhouse for that. Because that is absolutely ridiculous. I, I'm totally and absolutely disgusted right now. Like I look at my kids right now and I think about could anybody, anyone, step in and start to beat my children to the fact to the point where I don't want to tell them to stop because I don't want to get them mad. Here, what? Listen to me. If ever, you could even ever think that that was an option. I will tell you like how my father said very often. I have no problem going and sitting down inside of a jail over my children. Okay? Zero. Zero. You could let somebody beat your child to death and then they come and find you and the same stupid man looking, staring at your dead child because y'all are arguing whether to take him to the hospital. Yo, ambulance would have had to come because you would have to be going to the hospital too. Okay? Plain talk. <sighs> My heart is so heavy right now. It's bad enough that you have to protect your children from people that are outside, much less to bring somebody inside the house to endanger your child. Why? What could be so great to ever have me allow anybody the opportunity to do damage to my children? Are you kidding me? Folks, it's really important. Ladies, women, I'm speaking to you right now. It is time to get it together okay if you are lucky enough to have been blessed with the gifts that we call children it is your job to protect them by any means necessary any means necessary and I am so serious. And if you can't see it on my face, rewind and watch again. That is your job to protect your offspring by any means necessary. That's all I have to say. I'm done.